it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers and happy Monday. So super excited about this layout. Um, it was so fun to do. So today's sketch is from Lottie Loves Paper, sketch number three. And then our prompt for Scrap Timber is stars. And so I knew that Paper Issues had some amazing cut files that would work with this. And so this one is the one I chose, and I believe it's Firework. Um, I will link it down below, but there's also another one which is super awesome. And um, I forget what it's called, Starburst maybe? Oh my gosh, so cool. So I'll try and link that one too, because it would totally work if you haven't done this sketch yet and you're playing along. I would love to see you do it. So... What I did was I cut it and I left it on my Cricut bat and I am going to um, use some Distress Oxides and basically color it. So um, the first color that I use is, I believe, Fossilized Amber. So that's the yellow. And then the second one is dried marigold and then this one is rusty hinge so the yellow and this like dark orangey color are inks not oxides and then i use speckled egg and salvage patina and peacock feathers and if you saw the mood board um that i am using for the paper issues challenge challenges for this month um it's totally 70s like these colors are all 70 like I just love how this turned out I think that it goes super well um I am going to do so since I used to do mood board Monday and since all of the pop-up challenges this month for paper issues are all mood boards I will have a mood board inspired um layout as well every Monday. So I had one last Monday, did the 2000s. Today I'm doing the 70s. I don't know what I'll do next Monday. <laughs> um, I might throw another one in there in between since I'm doing 30 days of sketches. So um, you have a layout for me every day. So um, might need a little extra, extra inspiration to go with my sketch and prompt. Mood boards are awesome for that. You can pull so much from it. Um, I'm pulling kind of the idea of the the starburst and the colors and definitely the the order of the colors so um i so i have little daubers for all of my inks but i have some daubers for my oxides but not all of them and so i have these little brushes i think they're hero arts from the paper issue shop and these blending brushes are super cool i really like them um, I think their coverage is a little bit better than uh, the little daubers. So now that I've colored everything, now I am going to use it as a stencil. So yes, I am not going to make you watch me do um, this again. Um, just a little bit so you can kind of see and then I will come back and I will do the big reveal, which is super exciting. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions about this part, I did kind of leave a little bit more of it in than I normally would because I kind of like it. I kind of, I kind of like to watch it. So I hope you have enjoyed um, this stenciling part as well as, you know, my colors, that type of thing. So here it is. And there is the reveal. Oh, <laughs> I love how it looks. And I totally put the stenciling part like up on my wall to look at. Like that even looks cool to me. So I am going to take one of each of the biggest um, colored portions. Because I didn't know what exactly I was going to do if I was going to do all of them. But I'm actually only going to do one of each color. And I'm going to pop those up on some foam tape to give that a little dimension. And then I did one to two stars as well. 
So now I'm going to work on my center photo. Um, and I know I want to do some of this, this blue color. This, what's this from? This little uh, storyteller. This is from Vicki Booten Storyteller. Um, and so I want to map my photo, but then I decided, oh, maybe I want to map my layout. So I'm going to get the center and then I am going to trim down my layout. And normally I just trim two sides, but because I've already done all this work and it's in the center, I have to trim uh, like an eighth of an inch off of each side. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I can attach it to um, this background frame. And that will give just a little extra pop of color. So once I get that down, then I have to decide on how do I want my colors? Do I want them like top and bottom, like you see them like this? Or do I want them like side to side? So I choose to do one photo, which I trimmed down to, it's, it's about four by four, I believe. Um, and here's where I'm like, okay, I think I want it side to side because I have this little scrap of yellow and now I have this blue from the background that I gutted. And so I'm going to do the yellow mat on one side and I'll do the blue mat on the other side. And that way it kind of is tone on tone. Um, and yeah, definitely love how this looks. So um, you're probably wondering what the picture is because my daughter came in and it's hanging on my wall and she's like, what is that? Well, that is the yummiest, yummy, yummy, yummiest um, Thai soup I've ever had. <laughs> um, so we have this place downtown and it's called Terra Thai and it is just delicious. So, um, when we go on our date nights, we have gone there several times. And the funny thing is lately I keep thinking we need to do a selfie of us on a date night, but I end up taking a picture of our yummy food instead. I know. So crazy. So crazy. So, um, I don't do a ton of embellishing on here. Um, I did go through my stash and kind of see if there was any yellow, orange, or blue items, and then just piled them up. So this piece that I'm putting on now is from the Wonders Collection. It says today. That hello is a mirrored piece from just Joann's. Um, and so my title is going to be Hello Tom Ka, which is the name of the soup. Um, and so I'm trying to see if I can do it with these tiny um, pink fresh letters and I can't. Um, I'm missing something and because uh, I wanted to do it only in you know yellow orange and blue and there were letters that didn't work. So um, I'm going to take these buenos dias and realize I don't have an M. I have a big M but I don't want a big M. I want this little M. So I'm going to take two N's um, and make it an M. Um, and it's, you know, a little janky, but it works. You get the idea. I, I definitely didn't, uh, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't take the time to make it look correct, but that's okay. And then for the cot, I am going to use the pink fresh because I have a K in blue. And then I have this A that I have already made where I trimmed down a V and something else to just put in the middle. So yeah, both of, both of my words of my title are Frankenstein, but that's okay. So I have this little tag as well as a little orange ticket. And those are both from the storytellers collection. And then I am going to grab those storyteller stars there um, they're gold and black and white, 
and I am just going to sprinkle them around. I don't do any of the ones that are like really black because um, I don't really, I don't really have anything bold black on this layout. The little hints in the stars is fine, but I didn't want to use a star that was like big um, and black because I didn't want it to stand out. Just, just a few extra stars. And then I am going to go through this, uh, I think it's, no, I'm not sure what sticker book this is. I think it might just be a generic one. I'm going to pull this sticker that says so good because yes, I, I dream about this soup. Yes. It's just a plain journal one. Um, and then I'm going to flip through this Vicki Booten sticker book and pull out a piece that says life is good and that is in orange as well and then I have this little arrow it says that's awesome I'm gonna add that and then I'm gonna add this yellow camera and that is gonna do it I absolutely love this layout so head over to the paper issues uh, friends and fans play page and play along with the mood board and then um, head over to the shop and get your hands on these amazing oxides. There will also be um, a link to everybody who is playing along for Scrap Timber and 30 Days of Sketches. So make sure you head over and give them some love. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you do feel like you're in a shopping mood, you can use my code CRYSTAL to save you 20% in the Paper Issues shop. So remember to wear your crown, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!